Hello everyone. Uh, Allah likes my name. I want to quickly show something very important in Morphometric and uh, using Lori 1.0 uh, tool. This tool is very important in Morphometric and many people do not really understand what it's all about. And today I want to quickly introduce us to this tool, these simple examples. And, uh, and this tool is actually used to uh, to get uh, differences in sh uh, differences in uh, shape regions, uh, shape regions. Uh, maybe maybe you have two or three images. You want to find some difference in the shape regions using a uh, TPS approach. Uh, this uh, tool will be very it's very important. It's, it's handy, and you can uh, apply it. And uh, it implemented the method uh, described in the uh, Marcus et al. 2012 uh, for the estimation of shape variables that measure local differences in shape between individual samples and their procus means. Now, uh, to illustrate this distinction between global and local features, consider a study that has whether whole shapes are more different among a group species than expected according to some hypothesis. Methods based on shape space metrics will not only allow estimating appropriate statistics to address this question, but will also provide the necessary information to build visualizations to help investigators determine the spatial distribution of differences and similarities among sampled species. Alright, a natural follow-up to such visualization will be testing for interspecific differences as a deliberately choosing regions within configurations. For instance, one could wish to investigate whether species differ with respect to a set of traits but not another one. Now, when you look at this uh, this particular uh, manner, you can download this. You can also download this, the tool here, this software online, Lori 1.0. Uh, you can download it and uh, install. Uh, you, uh, you have to run it using uh, MATLAB uh, tools. So you download and uh, get uh, permission from the author and install. And it helps you a lot to do some functions in metrics such as a uh, deformation of grid, uh, depicting impl implied shape changes uh, in two configurations. And uh, when you look at the some samples here, you can see some samples here are interpretation functions and the rest of them. But I just want to point you to something very important here, which is the uh, parrot uh, 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 visualization, parrot uh, uh, features here. If, let me show you the parrot features. This particular one, uh, this one is very important. This uh, this uh, this parrot, this parrot plot. This plot is very important to differentiate to to find a uh, shape changes in a in a shape regions. So you can, okay, you can have a uh, maybe uh, a wing is a wings now, and you can have a woman faces maybe based on disease. For example, maybe you have a uh, different kind of disease, maybe Down syndrome disease, Huntington disease, and the rest of diseases. Want to want to know which uh, region that a uh, that the, that the, that the, the traits uh, uh, changes most in the faces of uh, the specimens. So you can actually use this particular uh, this particular uh, plot, called parrot plot, to, to denote those regions. And if you look at this plot for a while, where the zero is, is it means no, no changes at all. This zero means no changes. And you can see here the color here. Uh, minus 0 0.5 here simply means represent local halving of the area. And where you have most changes, when you're having the yellow, uh, just a little changes, and when you have the, the this red fire burn here, which is red, um, more brownish, these are called that's a real changes area. So these are changes area. That is, uh, so this is how you can de detect the changes region in the uh, in the specimen or the configurations using uh, landmarks. So uh, this tool has been installed here by myself. So I've just uh, opened the tool and show you here how it is used. So when you open the, uh, after you have installed, okay, after you have installed the tool, uh, you can see uh, this is the software. So I'm going to load a uh, sample data now. Uh, let me let me see. Let me show you how it is done. Okay, before I show you the type of data that you can use to uh, to run the tool. Okay, Lori. All right, so let me load you. Let me load for you now and see. Okay, you can see here. See the two here. See on the screen. Uh, this is this two. 
uh, this is the, the, the wing we are talking about here now after installation so if this part this is one just vector now so this parrot here now parrot if I if I rescale to ruler I can rescale to ruler here I can see here it changes to this okay so to the parrot you can see now so this is the, this is the parrot now you can see changes uh, you can see the changes area here these are the you can see from minus two this minus two here we have zero we have two plus two which means that the, the changes uh area region is from plus two here down here so when you are seeing anywhere you are seeing this now with um, this one that changes that changes here now this one you have a lot of changes here changes is more uh, more prominent here and here you can see and, and, and here and here this edge here you can see so uh, other uh, places such as the blue color they are just a uh, half in and also this uh, this light uh, yellow region they are they are minimum changes so you can see that you can also use EBS if you want to use EBS uh, there's some kind of uh, uh, changes in the color changes in arrangement you can see once that's changed you can see the changes so but the uh, TPS is, uh, is more important so just focus on TPS alone so uh, this is how to load so when, you, when you install just load the data here I will show you the type of data that you can use for this particular uh, uh, tool. So the first data you can use for this tool is uh is is called when you look at it, it's a, a roof uh, data format, a roof. And if you look at a sample here, uh, sample a roof a data format. Let me show you the sample here. Look at it here. At the moment, Lori accept two data formats: basic James roofs and uh, the ATSP format. And the second, second type is a space or tab delimiter SYCS. The SYCS is following the SY as it's written here now. If you have followed my tutorial before, you will have seen the, the sample of this SY here, SY, SY here. Understand this is coordinate of uh, the landmarks. And this CS means central size. You can you can if you want to add your central central size uh, in one of the columns of your of your sheet. For example, here now let me show you a first example here. This particular one, um, this this is a roof uh, this TPS now. This this roof TPS uh, format now. I've, I've used this one in my former uh, tutorial. If you have checked my tutorial so far on the YouTube, there you'll have seen this example. How, how I got this using the T, uh, TPS tool. Okay, you can you'll have seen this. So this one you can upload this one directly, directly without any confusion. As you have saved as TPS, you just upload directly in that place. Uh, it will give you the shape uh, configuration of that uh, specimen or specimens. So that, that's the that's the first example. Which, which we call here James Roth TPS format. So the second example is called uh, uh, it's called uh, tap delimiter. It's SY. So in that one you can have your central size if you, if you want. That is optional. Example of that is, is shown here. You can see here. So this one I've shown this example as well. If you remember in my past tutorial, you can see that here we have a high D. Here we have a SY. This SY we are talking about the coordinate we are talking about here. So this coordinate now you can, but when you are now uploading your data into Lori uh, tool, you have to remove the this particular line and this line. All right, you see that? So that's where the problem. So if you don't remove these two lines, then you have a lot of problem loading the uh, the 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 the, the, the uh, file into the uh, into the tool. So now if you want to do just first, maybe for just right, just right click and say remove, delete, then select this, delete. So now you can you can save this now as a not a save as I'm dealing with a search sheet now. So I will select here. I will select tab delimiter. Let's go to uh, uh just say tab delimiter here. Test okay. Then save okay. So when you save it, you save it like this. Yes. So okay. So you can now load this one. You can load now. You can see it doesn't have anything. So if you want to add at the edge, at the last edge, you have to have your central size here. You are welcome. You can have your central size here. Also, you will so you should remove the 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 uh, tie to the head. So it won't have any head. Just be like this, but it will be central size here in this column. So this is uh, the format of data that you can use to uh, to load to to ap to apply the the tool. Uh, so it is very easy to apply. And it have a lot of functions you can that you can perform in it. All right. Now uh, I just wrote a paper also from my all from one of my research paper. I wrote a paper 
uh, which is a which you call age investigation, uh, investigation of age, age-related facial variation among Angelman syndrome patients. So this paper has been accepted by uh, by uh, 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 accepted for publication. Uh, it's okay. So this paper now will be published uh, in few weeks or months times. So you can check it online to see how how the how the how it is applied. Maybe I will, I can pause it later here. So but let me show you the interface here where it is applied. You can see here where it is applied here. Okay, the changes you can, can see the changes in the face for children, for teenagers, for young adults, for adults. You can see the changes in the faces here. You can see you can see this have more changes more here. You can see they don't have more here. You can see they don't have more changes here. You can see the same thing applicable to this one have more changes here. See that so, and if you look at the this one also, you can see that uh, it it tallies with the changes area. This particular uh, this particular uh, plot uh, above here, which is called uh, not plot. So all these ones now that is how you can apply it. So you can apply it on any facial shapes, uh, uh, maybe any disease based uh, 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 subject, and it will it will help you to dis uh, differentiate uh, all this one. So this is a heat map actually. So I hope you you be able to apply this. You be able to uh, look at how it works. So uh, maybe after the paper is published, you can check later online. Uh, that is a scientific report. Scientific report. That is the name of the journal in uh, in uh, Nature. You can check scientific report in Nature and type investigation of age-related facial variation among Angelman syndrome patients. So you can read and see and how it works. And also you can also consult this PDF and maybe download it uh, when you are installing your Lori. You can download it as well and uh, go through it and see how you apply the failures uh, uh, tools that are inside the loaded here. Yeah? I only show you the parrot. Uh, there are other ones there that they are, are very important as well. But uh, I think uh, that is uh, what I what I think I need for now. That's what I was trying to show you. The, the this particular one, the parrot. So you can see uh, explore more uh, some of the tools there. And it's very easy to use. And uh, when you are done, you can export out your, you can export out your, your visualization by if you are if you are using a uh, ordinary image, just click here, save as figure with bitmap. Or if you are using LaTeX, you can just save as a uh, vector graphics, so you can uh, export it out. All right. So that is that for now. I think uh, next time I will also let us know if, if something comes up as we continue the tutorial. Please like and share and comment. If you have any question, you are free to ask. Thank you so much. I will see you next time.